Staines. George Staines, of course, the European champion in the IMAF organization. 22 year old from England. Here he comes, George Staines, the European champion. The 27 year old Nicholas Vermak representing South Africa, who last year the uh, South African team placed number one in the best senior national team at the IMAF Africa Championships. And of course, South Africa having prominent UFC fighters such as Rico Duplessis, will Nicolas Vermak be on his way to receive a step closer to lightweight gold or will the European champion George Staines, the 22 year old from England be the one who snags the eighth finals spot in this senior lightweight division. The winner here, of course, will be taking on Tony Burashid, the wrestling heavy Lebanese fighter who we just recently saw in the previous fight. George Staines versus Nicholas Vernak. The blue corner, of course, represented by Staines and a 27-year-old Nicholas Vermak out of South Africa in the red corner. Of course, George Staines coming from a European Championships gold we will have a lot of expectations to live up to. Cannot wait to see. Here we go. Nicholas Vermak getting ready in the red corner. Take on the European champion George Staines out of England. Final bout of the day in the senior lightweight division. Nicholas Staines, calm and collected. Sorry, George Staines rather. Nicholas, the one with the haymakers. Look at Staines. I'm not sure if I'm biased, but he's, he looks very professional in there. Just calm, collected, calculated. Nicholas Vermak, a little bit more wild. Wow, nice level change from Staines. Immediately in on the hips. Looking to advance his position. Get past those knees of Vermak to cut the distance. He settles for the guard though. Will he get some ground and pound going? Indeed. Goes straight to the back. Wow. Staines, of course, in the European Championships run, had a rear naked choke win. So don't be surprised to see him go for the submission off the back here. Unless he looks to pound out his opponent. Wow, looks like he's going for the neck. Yeah. Is surfing on his man. Nicholas Vermak having a hell of a task here in defending against George Staines. Look at the size difference of the two. Look at that. Seems like he has it under the chin. Could it be? Hard to tell. No. Looking to secure the position is George Staines. Nicely done by Nicholas in defending. And George Staines just breakdancing on top. Fluent in his grappling is Staines. Looking to batter his man is Staines. And Nicholas fighting valiantly, just staying just one step behind 
in all the exchanges, unfortunate. But look at Staines, ground and pounding here. Trying to make Nicholas perhaps expose his back. Yeah, look at that, there he has it. This is a top spot. Wow, Nicholas has a hill to climb here. Doing a great job though, not staying flat, staying in motion, making Staines adjust in Nicholas' attempt to try to escape the position, try to get those knees and feet in between himself and George. Try to create some distance. There he goes. But Staines cutting that distance immediately. Just look at that size difference. It's incredible. It does look like a lot from here. At least in length. Round one in the books. For sure, have to give that one to Staines. Vernak just one step behind all the time. Staines all over him. From the punching to the submission threats and back to the punching. If nothing else, he's way ahead on the scorecards. A tall order to face the European champion in your first bout at the IMAX World Championships. The South African Nicholas Vermack, though, staying in motion and not letting Stain sink his weight and establish a position. Staying defensive all the time. I think we'll see him look to avoid ending up on the ground now. It's got to be hard because of Stain's excellent timing on the takedowns. And of course, the threat of the ground is going to allow Stain's to let loose a bit more here on the feet. And that is what we are seeing, in fact. Nice little snap kick there to the gut of the South African. And it is Staines who closes the distance. He had a bunch of success in round one. Why not keep going on the ground and find more of that success potentially? Wow, tough spot, the Dagestani handcuff. This is a really rough spot for Niklas Vermak. He would, he would want to extend that arm behind his back in a half circle, but you can see his head, back is against the cage. It was going to be hard to do, in fact. And with those long arms of stains, just like gripping claws. Wow, huge ground and pound here from stains. Vermak has to have something happen that wow it is over that is it the European champion George Staines makes it happen snags the spot for the eighth finals in the lightweight division one step closer to lightweight gold is George Staines the European champion gets it done impressive performance Will be a hell of a fight against Tony Borashed tomorrow for the quarterfinal spot. Now for your official decision. Other result for cage number four. The winner by TKO round two. In the blue corner, representing England, George Staines. George Staines. Representing Team England gets it done. Dominance from the first bell. Incredible. What do you expect? He is, in fact, the European champion. The story of the fight was, in fact, his grappling from start to finish. All right, that is it. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for day one of the IMAF World Championships. We will see you tomorrow. 
hopefully no delays. And we thank you for your attention. And we hope you've had a good show. My name is Ali Farai, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.